In this video, we will take a look at MitoQ, what it is, and why it is considered a cellular health molecule. Mitochondria are often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. It is the location where the majority of the body's energy source, ATP, is made in a process known as aerobic respiration. However, mitochondria are more than just a powerhouse. They are involved in hormonal signaling, storage of calcium ions, the control of cell death, the regulation of cellular metabolism, and are also a source of reactive oxygen species, a subset of free radicals. Therefore, the mitochondria play a critical role in the health of a cell. Unfortunately, due to its actions, mitochondria are particularly susceptible to oxidative damage. It is thought that this oxidative damage causes decline in mitochondrial function with age, with mitochondrial dysfunction being considered one of the hallmarks of ageing. In particular, as mitochondria plays an important role in health, dysfunction has been associated with declines in brain function, cognition and heart function. Besides a loss of energy production, aberrant production of free radicals can occur. Free radicals are unstable molecules that are highly chemically reactive and can damage all components of a cell, including lipids in the membranes of mitochondria. However, they are not all bad as there are physiological roles of reactive oxygen species within the body. It seems that only when oxidative stress surpasses a threshold, free radicals become more harmful to the cell. Coenzyme Q10 is a natural antioxidant found in the inner mitochondrial membrane where it aids in energy production and neutralization of reactive oxygen species. Less coenzyme Q10 is made as you age. However, it is not trivial to restore these levels through supplementation due to its poor bioavailability as a large nonpolar molecule. Alternative strategies are being investigated to identify how the free radical levels can be restrained to within physiological levels below the threshold of oxidative stress. This is where MitoQ comes in. MitoQ, also referred to as mitoquinol methylate, is a smaller, altered form of coenzyme Q10. MitoQ acts as an antioxidant and has the ability to neutralise free radicals. MitoQ does this by donating an electron to a free radical, stabilising it and making it unreactive. This doesn't just happen once. MitoQ can be recycled back to its active form and neutralise many more free radicals. But to be effective, it needs to reach the mitochondria. By being shorter than coenzyme Q10 and possessing a positive charge, MitoQ has been optimised for mitochondrial entrance due to its electrical attraction to the negatively charged mitochondria. This results in a far greater concentration of MitoQ reaching the mitochondria than other generic antioxidants, targeting the molecule to where it is specifically needed. Studies in mice have shown that MitoQ, when orally administered, was effectively taken up by the heart, brain, liver, kidney and muscle. But what about uptake for human patients? And what is the evidence that MitoQ is effective? And in what cases is MitoQ effective? Well, MitoQ has been tested in a wealth of preclinical and clinical studies, with a particular focus on targeting health linked with free radicals derived from mitochondria. Preclinical studies in mice and rats showed how MitoQ was protective against a range of insults relevant to human health that result in mitochondrial oxidative damage. Since these early studies, MitoQ has been extensively tested in neurological health studies. In one study, MitoQ supplementation extended the lifespan and inhibited memory loss in a mouse model. The treated mice showed reduced brain oxidative stress, linking mitochondrial dysfunction with neurological outcomes. Similarly, another mouse study showed that MitoQ supplementation could help with synapse health and potentially offer neuroprotection by scavenging reactive oxygen species from mitochondria in neurons. In another mouse study, MitoQ was able to improve mitochondrial function in the spinal cord and muscle of study mice, which helped to increase their survival. 
Following these results, many human studies with MitoQ have been conducted, showing that it improves measures of mitochondrial health and function. Firstly, a study showed that MitoQ, doses of 40 mg or 80 mg, is safely tolerated by humans for up to a year, and another trial using the same doses held possible benefits for liver health. Another study showed that MitoQ could improve age-related declines in vascular function in older participants to reach values closer to younger participants. For these reasons, MitoQ is not just a supplement, it's an advanced cellular health molecule that has been shown to provide benefits to many age-associated conditions, from heart to brain health. As we have seen in this video, MitoQ is a superior antioxidant that has the potential to benefit a range of health areas. This is due to its effective uptake and targeting to the mitochondria where it can reduce the number of reactive oxygen species that are generated with age. If you'd like to learn more about MitoQ and where you can purchase it, please visit the website mitoq.com.